Good morning, Wilder. Take care of Muffy. Take good care of Wilder. Thanks, Griffin. You're like a father to me, you know? I know. That's why I didn't do anything. Can I still be your daughter? I'll go on with my life, keeping that in mind. I love you, Griffin. Wilder, get her out of here. Please don't let her come back here. <laughs> sure. Thanks for everything you've done for me. What are you gonna call Wilder now? Oh yeah, now that we're married, we need nicknames for each other. What do you want to be called? So if you want to, you can have a nickname that your spouse will call you by, but I'm I'm good. I'm good with Wilder. A few years later. How are you? I guess it doesn't matter to you anymore. Your son is doing well. The farm is in good shape, too.
Muffy is so happy with her new kitchen. Your grandson is very cute. What was his name? Lucas. Yes, Lucas. Looks like Muffy. All parents expect something from their kids, but I wonder what they are dreaming of. Daddy, carry me! Alright, alright. You like playing with your father, don't you, Lucas? More! Alright, alright, jeez. Hey, Wilder, I want to raise Lucas to be smart and handsome. What do you think? I agree. I, I don't like... I agree. I'm glad you think so too. Now, now I've got to think of a plan. Time for bed now, Lucas. Come here. Go to my bed. Oh, I almost forgot. Wilder. The refrigerator is almost out of food. Will you restock it? Thanks. Good night. Night night. Good night, Lucas. Happy birthday. Hello everybody, my name is Wilder, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life. Welcome to Chapter 2! This is Chapter 2 of Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life. It's called Happy Birthday, and as you can see, a lot changed. Uh, we're back to spring. First of spring, which is also the New Year Festival. Uh, I believe, like, about two years have passed uh, since Chapter 1, and a lot has changed. This is Lucas. He's snoring. Uh, we have a kid. We are married. Our house is bigger. There's so much that has changed. So uh, there's also a lot that's changed in town too. So we're gonna go over all of it. Um, but Lucas has our old bed, and we got a huge bed, which is awesome. We upgraded. I put Breeze back on because uh, we're in spring now, so quiet winter's off. And uh, we're actually just gonna hang out here for a second until 6 a.m. because something special happens every day at 6 a.m. from now on after you're married um, and it is pretty cool I do like it it's a nice little touch I meant seven o'clock I'll be right back <laughs> apparently I don't know what time this happens my lord I believe it's eight just because it can't be six and it can't be seven anyway uh, this is our new kitchen. This is the upgrade to our house. Our kitchen is very awesome. So we can we this is we can still cook like we could before. Um, it's just it just looks bigger, and we we can uh, we can cook just like before. This is the same as what we had before, except now uh, there's a cupboard with three dinner with dinnerware for three people. Uh, there's a tablecloth. It's Muffy's taste at this little table. No chairs for some reason. Uh, there's a garbage here. Um, which you can actually use to throw stuff out. We have one in the barn, but we have one in our house now. Uh, we have a refrigerator, which is probably one of my favorite things that you get from house upgrades. You can now put your food in the refrigerator. Uh, it makes no difference to food quality, I don't believe. But I love just stocking this thing full of dishes and, and crops. I love it so much. I don't know. And this right here, this is a bathroom 
Uh, one is a toilet and one is a shower. So if you go in one... That's the bathtub. Even though a lot of people growing up was like, Oh no, it's something else, huh? Anyway. And there's a toilet. So when you take these, they actually up your stamina. So if you've been on the farm all day, and you've been working, you can actually go and you can use the bathroom and your stamina will go up a little bit. I don't think this can be abused over and over again, but once for both a day, I think is usually the rule in Harvest Moon, so I think it's still the rule here too. Um, but that's cool. Those are very nice upgrades. Much needed. And this is what happens at 8 a.m. Not, not 7 or 6. 8. Good morning, Wilder. Time to wake up, Lucas. It's morning. Morning, Daddy. Good morning. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Anyway, yeah, this is our family. This is so cool. I think this is really awesome. So we've talked to Lucas. He wants us to carry him. And you can. You can't really walk around while you're carrying him like this. If he asks you to carry him, then it brings you to this little menu. Where you can toss him, you can nuzzle him, and you can rock him. And you can still talk to him. Ah, dad. <laughs> yeah, this is just a little cute thing that you can do. You can put him down. Uh, but then you can also hold him without him asking, and he holds, it holds him like this. In like mid-run animation. <laughs> And this is just to bring him around places. Uh, he doesn't like it too much, but you can show him to people. <laughs> I'm so happy here. Home is where the heart is. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, you can you can show him to people. You can bring your kid around town and show the, uh, him to people and see what his react their reactions are and his reaction too, um, which I'll be obviously we're gonna do in the future. Uh, but for now, we have a farm to tend to. I'll show I'll show some more things later. Uh, but let's let's tend to a farm. Hey, Ramen, how you doing? He's doing- he's doing perfect. Okay. I'm gonna give him some food. Before we go out. And, uh, it's really nice. Nice spring day, so we'll bring everyone outside. Make sure everyone's doing okay. It has been, like, two years in-game. So, how you doing, everybody? Hazel is just fine. Okay. Um. Hmm. My carrots. Are my carrots still doing good? They should be. I think. Let me check. Yep, they're soon to be harvested. We're gonna have a bunch of carrots soon. Uh, since it's spring, we have a lot of a lot of crops to plant. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to those banana trees. Oops, I didn't mean to water that twice. I'm looking forward to those banana trees, which I think, like I said last episode, are going to be here in summer? I really hope so, because, oh my god. The amount of money we're, we're gonna get from that. Fun fact, I've never actually grown banana trees, but everybody's always talking about the amount of money you can get out of them. So, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to actually see that firsthand. They look like they're doing well. Okay, let's check on the chickens. Hello, everybody. How you doing? Not giving me any eggs yet, huh? For some reason, I have my chickens on these weird schedules where they only give me eggs in the afternoon. <laughs> that must be hell as a farmer to have... Uh, have that as a routine, but... Yes, hello, Floofs. Floofs' eyes are shining. Oh, yeah, it's, uh... It is spring, so we can use the wool shears now. Wait. I'm already forgetting what I taught you. I already taught you guys this. You gotta wash your sheep to try and get gold wool. Come on, Floofs. Is he... Okay, here's the big joke. Big, big joke. Is Epona still mad at me two years later? She's asleep. Okay. Hold on. I gotta check this. No, Floofs, move. Yes, Epona's still pissed off at me two years later. That's awesome. Okay. Move, Epona. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Epona. What can I do to make you feel better? I should just brush Epona every day. Come on, Floofs. Turn around. There we go. Okay. Now, brush. There we go. I'm also gonna just use this regularly, just so 
I mean, your sheep in Harvest Moon A Wonderful Life is the happiest creature I've ever seen in my life, so I don't really need to, like, put, put Floof's happiness up just by crushing her normally, but hey, might as well. And yes, gold wool. Awesome. This stuff actually does sell for a lot. I was surprised when I first sold it. Okay, uh, what else do I need to do now? I need to go get some crops. But first, why don't we take a ride around town and just see all the things that have changed? Because there are quite a few things. Hello, Dr. Hardy. What's going on? Okay, sorry about that cut. He just said something that was kind of a spoiler that I want to keep a little bit of a secret for those of you who don't know about what happens uh, in, in Chapter 2. He just, like, straight up was like, yeah, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Uh, so we have a new building here. Right here, this building is new. Um, I wonder if we can go in it. We have new neighbors. Yes, we can. Awesome. Hello. Who are you? Hello there. My husband is very serious. Too bad my daughter is unruly. This is Samantha. She moved here with her family to live in Forget-Me-Not Valley. And, uh, this is their house. Giant teddy bear. A fluffy stuffed animal. Yeah. I, I love this house. It, it, it's really cool. The, the music is really... Really kind of weird and ominous, but I've always liked this house. It's very nice. This this uh, music is very comforting down here. Make yourself comfortable. Thank you, but I have to leave. <laughs> so that's Samantha. Maybe we'll meet the rest of her family later. Uh, but for now, why don't we go up to the villa and pay a visit to some of our old friends, shall we? See what's going on, you know? Also, see those cats, because those cats are cute. Oh, cutscene. Hello. Oh, Wilder. We were just about to start our New Year's party. You're more than welcome to come join us. Wow, I actually forgot about this. I, f I forgot about this. Well. Thank you, everyone, for gathering here today. Please enjoy yourself as we celebrate... The passing of the old and the promise of the new. Yay. Dude, why is Murray gotta be a creep all the time? Look at him back there. I don't understand. Oh, it's nice that Van showed up. That's cool. Dude, what? Did he just pickpocket me? Are you serious? I better not have lost anything. I know I didn't, but... Thank you everyone for gathering here today. Let's hope for a year even better than this one. Okay. Wow, I actually totally forgot about that. Can I go back in? <laughs> hey! Whoops. I want to give her a flower. I was hoping I would catch her. Yeah, this is for you. Yeah. Yay. Okay. And look at these cats. Even though they're yours. Cats are so independent. Don't cuddle them too much or they'll get annoyed. Okay. I'll put it down. What's up, Sebastian? How wonderful to see you, Wilder. I've been serving Miss Romana for decades now. The years have just flown by. Aw, oh, that sounds nice. Cool. That's all I wanted to do there. I totally forgot that there was actually a festival in there. But, uh, that was a nice little cutscene, getting to talk to everyone. <laughs> and that was kind of a surprise, too. So not much has changed down here. This is all kind of the same old, same old. This is still, like, the, the as everyone calls, weird part of town. Uh, but if we come over here... Oh! Check it out. You might have seen her at the New Year's party, but this is Samantha's daughter. Ah, you're on the farm, right? Are you working hard? This is Kate. How could someone call a girl like me a tomboy? I don't know. That's Kate. She's nice. She's cool. I like her. She's actually really, really funny. And this is Gallon's new house. Uh, he moved. He does not live at the old house anymore with Nina. Dr. Hardy lives there. And the reason that they moved is because of this. Nina is resting peacefully here. Yeah, his wife passed away in the two years that had passed uh, in-game. And now, 
Galen is actually very, very upset. Understandably. Oh, if it isn't you. That food you gave me last time. It was really very delicious, thank you. Oh, no problem. Would you just leave me alone for now? Yeah. So, from this point on, Galen is, is quite depressed. He's quite upset and sad. Um, and giving him gifts now is actually really difficult. Which is why I suggested in uh, chapter one that you, you befriend him as quickly as possible. Because now, him taking a gift is kind of random. It really is. Uh, sometimes he'll he'll take it, sometimes he won't. Uh, it is kind of random. And look at Hugh! Look at Hugh! <laughs> Get it? Look at you. Anyway. Hello. People say that spirits live in the Northern Forest. Nobody's ever seen them before, though. Yeah, that's what you said when you were a kid. Look at him, he's all kind of grown up. Brother's nice, isn't it? He's so much older, I love it. Anyway. Here, why don't we talk to... Takakura. What's up, man? Hey, how are you doing? Cows don't give milk all the time. <laughs> Dude. It, no no more tutorials. I know, I know already. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, other than this, there's not a whole lot else that has changed. Um, but we do have one more person to meet, which is Samantha's husband, who uh, he actually works in, uh, in, ta in the town. He actually works in the town, um, and he goes to work in the in like early early morning. Like I think he wakes up like six a.m. and leaves the house, uh, and then he arrives around like five p.m. Um, so we'll we'll meet him eventually. We'll meet him eventually. But for now, I have to talk to Vesta because we need to plant some more crops. We really do. Vesta. Well, this is Celia's room. Hey, Celia, how's it going? <laughs> Hi, welcome. Vesta's vegetables are great, you know. Oh, she's actually going to sell me something. Oh, okay. All right. So, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I was just looking up what to buy, because apparently I still don't remember the seasons for any of these. <laughs> uh, so I just went and quickly looked it up. Uh, but I also saw that you harvest... Uh, bananas in summer, which is why I thought that I planted last in summer. So, you harvest them each summer. I, I don't know if they're going to be ready this summer because I don't, I don't know if it takes like a year or two in game to grow. So, we'll just be watching that. So I need tomato. I need watermelon. I'm just gonna buy eight of each. This is gonna be a lot to water, but I'll be okay with it. And I also want turnips before I leave. Uh, turnip seeds. These are cheaper, so. Oh. Yeah, whatever. Whatever, I'll be short turnip. We have lots of turnips in the fridge at home, so. That's so cool to say. I love the fridge so much. I don't know what, I don't know what it is about it. I just love it. I guess it's just a place to keep all the food that I want to keep, but I'm not doing anything with. Um, and not just have it clutter my bag. I guess something like that. I don't know. Anyway, hey Vesta, what's up? Let's uh, let's talk to Daryl first. Actually, see what he's up to. Hello, Daryl. What's up? Hello. I was just thinking of something. Oh, okay. That's cool. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna plant these, and I will be right back. Okay, that took a lot longer than I uh than I thought. <laughs> I don't know why. I uh, I know I knew it was gonna take a while. But uh, it's gotten really late, so I need to do two more things. I need to call my animals in, just check on everyone, make sure they're all okay. Everyone is pretty good. Okay. I have to go check on my chickens because I totally forgot about the eggs because I it's just not part of my morning routine anymore because they don't give them to me in the morning, so just have to... Oh, no, they don't give them to me at all. Okay. <laughs> because do you remember last episode? I forgot to feed them correctly on time. Yeah. That's why. Okay. Uh, ramen. You're good. Guess we'll go inside. Uh, hey, Lucas, what's up? How you doing? Let me talk to you. Oh, he wants to be carried. Okay. So, uh, we have a 
few more things to see around town. Uh, I think about only one more. Uh, we have one more person, but we have a few things to see and a few cutscenes that we can now uh, now access because of the people who like us. How you doing, Muffy? I would never believe I'd lived like this someday. Well, cool. <laughs> Uh, now that we're married, and now that it's chapter 2, uh, TV hasn't changed. Still the same channels. Uh, but this, this is Lucas's... Are you okay? Oh, he's fine. <laughs> this is Lucas's toy box. The only thing that's in here right now is a scratch pad. Um, that you saw him in the opening cutscene coloring on. So if we show it to him... Mine! Yes, it is yours. Uh, we can put it back in the toy box. From time to time, uh, throughout the day, he'll come to his toy box... Oh, he'll come to his toy box and he'll take toys out and play with them. Uh, and you can see him playing with them, it's really cool. Um, we can buy more toys for him from Van, which we will do the next day Van's in town. Uh, it's cool, and I'll explain more about that later, because there is a second layer to that in the game. Oh, look what time it is, Lucas. Time to go to bed. Yeah. Good night, Daddy. Good night. Man, I've never met a kid who went to bed that willingly. And he also snores a lot. Okay, uh, I think I'm good with everything here. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead to bed. What about you? I was beginning to get up. I was beginning to give up on ever getting married. Oh, that's sad. I'm sorry. I think I'm good. Ah, I love this kitchen. Anyway, I'm gonna end it here because this is just a different, different area to end it in. I don't know. Just, <laughs> I just felt like it. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Hitting that subscribe button helps me so, so much. And uh, follow me on Twitter. My link is down in the description. I will give you updates of when episodes go live. And I just tweet random stuff from time to time. Um, yeah, so if that's, that's your thing, go ahead and follow me. And uh, thank you again for watching. And I will see you in the next... Wow, we almost got through a whole episode without my character getting really hungry. Eat this, even though there's a lot of good food in the fridge. Eat that. That's your punishment. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. My god. <laughs>